I've been asked so many times to make this, to make something like this, to step into this market and to do something different. I've tried a few times to do it, to pull it off. And ultimately, we would come up with a prototype or a great product that we could release, but it never felt really that much different than things that our friends do that are great, that you can already buy. And we just said, hey, we're just gonna make pedals. We got back into it about a year ago. I think that what we stumbled on here by accident is probably one of the most original things that we'll ever put our name on. My name is Gregory Colsto, uh, owner at Oddly Correct. Josh reached out to us about a year ago to talk about this idea, this project. And honestly, when I heard about it and we talked about it a little bit more, um, it just seemed kind of crazy. We're serious about what we do. We take our craft seriously. But as we started talking about it more and like dreaming a little bit, like maybe it's possible. This device is a tube transconductance amp. The tube plate current is proportional to the input voltage. Heat is produced by large amounts of guitar signal causing a variable ignomatization of the bipolar isometric crystal lattice within the tube grid, producing transverse obloid scalar oscillations. They occur between the screen and plate elements within the 6L6 vacuum. In our research, we found that by increasing the zero point energy of the biasing ignomatization, we were able to produce a quality of scalar heat energy never before encountered on any stage or in any studio. Also, the range of scalar heat wave harmonics can be changed depending on the nature of the input signal that the amp is receiving. This method was tried with all of today's common output tubes, but we found that this particular new old stock 6L6 tube has been ideal for this application. And many types of input signals have been experimented with. The best results that I got were hugely distorted power chords. Another unique effect these transverse scalar heat wave harmonics have is the ability to induce a dielectric capacitance magnetic precession vortex, which produces the ideal conditions for roasting coffee. We are fortunate enough to have a really strong relationship with one of the nation's uh, best roasters, oddly correct. That collaborative force is a huge piece of how we got it off the ground. Once we got past the, the general like resistance to the idea in our own minds, and our own status quo, we started experimenting. Man, like we approached it from a lot of different angles. A lot of them didn't work. But what we came up with uh, blew our minds. And I think when you get together with guys who work hard, who care about what they do, and they want to create things that are new, um, good things happen, and so that's why we're here. We're really excited and really proud of what's going on.